Oh, that's a boa. We don't want him to get any further. There he goes, he's coming back, he's coming back. Okay, oh, I got him. I see his head. Oh, whoa, whoa. Right there he is. Watch out, watch out. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. I'm gonna bite you. You need the hook? Oh man, we got him. We might need the uh, snake hook. All right. Now this is risky, Mark. Cause this is the strike zone right here. Oh, careful. Oh, oh, ah! Ah! Mario, you got the hit. You know, these buildings always provide a lot of uh, areas for animals to hide in. You never know what you're going to find around a building. So we're always searching, especially for insects. Great. Here's, uh, uh, here's an orb weaver, a little one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Huh. No, it's kind of jittering in the wind. Oh, a snake! What? Right there. Oh, man. Oh, that's a boa. Is that a boa? I think that's a tree boa. Let's get it out of there. What do you need? Uh, well... He's in a tight spot, so um, snake hook would be great, okay. and uh, a snake bag, for right. sure. I'm yeah. gonna go, go get Mark. <laughs> Literally, within like 30 seconds of being here at the Jungle Hut, and we found a tree bow. Mark! Yeah. Mario we found a tree bow curled up in these pipes up in the rafters out here. Hang on a second. Uh, there it is. Yeah, he wants snake hook in a bag. Yeah, just get your camera going. All right, come out here by the shed. Ha, this is awesome. All right, got the snake hook and the bag. Okay. That's definitely not feral ants, right? They don't climb. No, yeah, I could tell by the coils. Look and right of course, here. it's uh, it's up high. Look right here. See that? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you sure it's a boa? Dude. Well, I think so. I mean, it's yeah. not feral ants. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure well, it's not venomous though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's up here in the, in the uh, rafters. That's kind of typical of uh, tree boas and arboreal animals. They're gonna climb up and he was probably hunting here at night. You know, the bats and like all the insects and stuff that are attracted to this area. All right, let's maybe try to take out some of these pipes. All right, so these are the ones that he's kind of on. Oh, all right, take it out, take it out. He may be able to... Let me coax him out as he's trying to... Oh, oh, I see its face. Its face is right here. We don't want him to get any further. There he goes, he's coming back, he's coming back. Okay, oh, I got him. I see his head. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there he is. Watch out, watch out. Whoa, whoa. Right, there you go. <laughs> Easy. I'm gonna bite you. You need the hook? Oh man, we got him. <laughs> watch your head on the top of the thing there. Dude, this is the tree. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, he's gorgeous. That's amazing. Hi, buddy. Look at that. This is this Whoa. is a this is an annulated tree bow, actually. Right by the shed. Oh man, that is so cool. All right, well, this gives us an <laughs> opportunity for you to get a great photograph with a boa. Yeah, Mario, yeah. we should we should show people how you get your photographs. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, this will be a great specimen. We could uh, take him to the jungle and actually get some shots uh, in a natural setting, and then uh, we could release them there. Actually. Dude, dude, great Woo! That is so cool. Nice. There we go, there we go. What I think what I'm looking for is, um, I wanna show the arboreal nature of this snake. So I wanna have some type of vine or, or branch that we could actually put the snake on and it could dangle down, showing its classic ambush position. So, you know, ideally branch, a vine, and then some nice background, maybe like a stream or something, which this looks, Pretty good right here. Okay. And down there, that's potential, but I think it'd be pretty hard to get down there. Pretty hard to get a good spot to take photos from down there. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Oh, right there. Look There's a the vine uh, right there. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so this this could be the vine right there. So you put the snake like kind of at the crux of that, those yeah. two vines? Maybe put it right here. Oh, okay. And then kind of shoot that way. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, looks good to me. I'm a camera assist today. So I've got the snake, I've got the light. Uh, you want me to get the snake out of the bag? Uh, yeah, yeah, let, let me get my camera camera gear ready. Okay. Like exposure, some of that stuff. I'll do that out here. Yeah, let's, let's get through your gear out here. Tell me what you use. So, 
primary camera that I'm going to use today is the Canon 60D. This is an older model. Uh, it's one of the first Canons that has this little articulated screen. And this is really helpful for the type of shots that I like to get. I like to get different perspectives, wide angle, and using this I can kind of get right up to the animal and um, kind of focus my spot of interest and take the picture. Look at this guy getting in the middle of my shot. Hey buddy. That's good b-roll right that's, there. That's not, that's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> now, I often use a uh, speed light for fill and flash. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I would have to say, you know, I, I've known you as Mario the photographer for quite a while. And to me, this is the most unique element of your style. So explain that flash. Yeah, so I often use a flash during the day and it seems kind of intuitive, but during the day you often get shadows because of the sun or harsh light. And when there is harsh light, I'll use this as a fill-in flash. And that'll actually pop the animal, reduce some of the shadows uh, without making it too overwhelming. Now, what's gonna be a little different today is I've got you guys with me. Uh, normally, I go out and kind of do the photography on my own, but today I'll have Coyote helping me out, and he's going to be holding a light fixture, which will actually maybe prevent me from using a flash. So that might be my light, my fill-in light. We'll see. All right, Put let's. Put me uh, in, Coach. I'm ready. Let's check it out. So Mario, what's the first thing you think about when you find your setting for your photographs? Like, what, what's the first step? Well. It all depends on the situation, right? It all depends on the environment. Many times we encounter a snake or a reptile or, or a subject that I photograph, it's already in the perfect in situ environment, right? Ooh, what's that mean? In situ means as is, right? It's just kind of in the environment. I don't have to actually manipulate the animal. Other times, like this situation where we actually capture the snake, we're gonna relocate it into a safer area. I could actually pick the location and have more liberties in terms of what I want. So for this, I want to really showcase the arboreal nature of this snake, right? So this snake is highly arboreal. We, often, we found it in the rafters. Um, and then I want to look at the background and see if it's an interesting background. I don't want it to be too cluttered. Um, so lots of factors that I consider when I'm picking a spot, right? All right, so. Let's take a... So you, do you test before you bring an animal in? It depends. If, if I am bringing an animal into the set, as I'm going to call it, then I'm going to take as many pictures as I can to get the proper uh, exposure. Then I'll bring the animal. But if it's a situation where the animal is already there, then I have to try to get it really spot on so that I don't you know, stress out the animal any further. All right, so I'm going to go up to 500. We're going to add a little bit more light. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Got it? I think so. so we're ready for the uh, the star. Yeah. Coyote. I'm here. No, it's not you today, buddy. Oh, that's right. It's the snake. I get the day off. Oh, there he goes. All right. So let's see. Let's see how he behaves. That's definitely a really cool snake. We might need the uh, snake hook. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna try to climb up that. Alright, ooh, that was, that was gonna be good. Okay, now, I'm gonna need you to come on this side. Me? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to do slow movement so we don't disturb the snake. Now there's a lot of patience when you work with wildlife and you do photography. As, as you know, Mark, you know, since we do videography as well. You know, he's, he's kind of, he's behaving pretty well so far. And that, that's what I want right there. I want this, I want this classic look right here. Mm -hmm. See, it's all about trying to get the natural pose too. You know, you want a pose that's kind of natural to the snake. Yeah, that's the pose I want right there. We're getting it. That looks good. That's perfect, That's Mario. That's perfect pose right there.
Wow, not sure you're gonna get it better than that. That's pretty cool. That was epic. Now, how many photographs do you take, Mario, like in, in something like this to get the one you're after? <laughs> There's hundreds of shots that are not ideal, that are not kind of what I anticipate. If you are with me taking photos, you have to be patient, right? See, that? that's right there really Ooh, cool. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Get it. And something that you might be noticing, I'm kind of fiddling my hands a lot, is I'm changing the uh, focus points. So basically... And I hear a lot of clicks. Yeah. You're not taking just one photo at a time, are you? No, not at all. I'm doing continuous shutter. Great job with the light. So, yeah, I'm... Uh, Pretty happy so far. Cool. Now, let's, look, take a, let's take a look at one of the yeah, photos. We'll, we'll throw look. it up on screen for everybody else to see, but I, I want to take a look over your shoulder here. Check that out. Oh, so yeah. we're, we're isolating the subject. Beautiful. Right? Nice natural looking light on the snake too. The, the LED really kicked it out. Ah, it bit right at the camera. Did it really? Yeah. Oh. Ah, he just bit the lens. No way. Actually, let me get a, let me get a shot of that. All right, guys, this is the shot. Absolutely. This is what I'm looking for. His face is just right at me. Now this is risky, Mark. Cause this is the strike zone right here. Careful, buddy. Right position. Good light, good light. Oh, look at that shot. Oh man, that's epic. I think he's getting a little angsty. We may need to kind of wrap this up here. Yeah, uh, I got some amazing. Uh, guys, I'm losing control of the snake. Oh, okay, coming. I can't reach off the edge of this. You're gonna have to grab hold. Of it. Oh, careful! Ah! Oh, ah! Sorry, you got bit. <laughs> it bit me. It definitely bit you. <laughs> that was a. Uh, that was kind of. I deserve that. I mean, let's face it. I've been kind of handling the snake and uh, focusing on the pictures. So, that was a little bite. It wasn't a bad bite. Not a bad bite. Not a bad bite. Just a little warning, a little warning tap. All right, guys, I think I got some epic shots. And thank you, Coyote, for uh, helping me to wrangle the snake and to provide some light. Mark, thank you for uh, taking the uh, time to uh, get this little video. Of course. I, um, hope, uh, I hope everyone at home learned something. I hope so, too. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take some of the best shots and we're going to Put them in the video and uh, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. What's up? Best comment gets a signed print of oh, this photograph. What do you ooh, think about that? I like that idea. Ah, An yeah. official Mario Aldecoa autograph and photo. Ah. Man, the pressure's on. I hope you guys like the images. And um, this was awesome. I've been wanting to find any snake on this trip. And then it's an annulated tree boa. How cool is that? Got a really nice environmental shot of him. He gave me a little bite. That's okay, it was a love bite. And uh, I think we're done with the photo session. So now we could... Uh, now you gotta give us the outro and we gotta uh, let the snake go. Sounds good, all right, ready? Yep. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, all right, guys. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you in the next location. All right, let's go. Hey Coyote Pack, I've got some great news. We are doing two live shows in Australia, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. The tickets are on sale now. And for everyone in the United States, get excited because a West Coast tour is coming in early 2018. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. <laughs>